our 2014. Hi. We are here with Peter Fisk from tell San us, Francisco. Tell us, we are you? This is the first time you're riding in the Stonewall. This is the first car. time riding in the Stonewall car, and I'm a Stonewall veteran of the bar, but not the rebellion. But it changed my life forever and made me an activist. It got me interested in Gay Liberation Front. It got me into ACT UP. It got me into, in the 80s, caring for people with AIDS. In the 90s, I was running a charity in San Francisco called the AIDS Emergency Fund. And it got me onto the Pride Board in San Francisco. And I continue to be an activist. Now I'm working with marriage equality and I'm working with living wage for all people, but particularly for gay and lesbian people, and rights for transgender. Transgender people are treated abysmally in this country. The transgender people are where we uh, gay people were in 1969. And I'm surprised there isn't a rebellion, because if I were trans, I would be very, very angry at the treatment that trans people receive. Absolutely, no, you are right on that. But I want to go back to Stonewall. Were you around when Stonewall happened? Here's the story. I, I grew up in New York, but I moved to California to be a hippie. And I came back to, to uh, New York in 1968, and Stonewall was my bar. And there were four of us, and we were a family. My, my friend Andre and Bob and Bobby, and the four of us lived together in the basement of Andre's mother in East Orange. And we came to Stonewall a couple of times during the week and every weekend. And the Stonewall was the most wonderful place you can imagine because it was so diverse. It, it wasn't a rich bar. It had people of color, Puerto Ricans, drag queens, leather queens. I was a leather queen. Uh, and it was one big family. And I took every drug known to man there, danced the night away for seven months, and three days before the rebellion, on June 25th, I left to go back to San Francisco. Oh, wow. So I missed the most important event of my whole life. But you were there for the build-up. But of, yes, uh, and I considered a veteran because I'm a bar regular. Had I been there, I would have thrown pennies, I would have thrown parking meters. I'm just as angry as everybody else. So the effect for me is that it changed my life because it made me an activist. And what we do at SBA now, besides riding this beautiful car every year, is we're activists keeping the spirit of Stonewall alive. And so we do education. Uh, I work with students and, and people going out in schools and educating people. And we're keeping the spirit of Stonewall alive which is freedom for all, liberation for all, and gay is good. Gay is good. <laughs> so great to thank be you gay. Thank so much, so Peter. Thank you. Any last words to your new fans yes. out there? Yes, what I can say is live and love and be happy and be who you are. Be free. Amen. There Amen. You